today I'm going to wear the heart of peace. Yes. Good afternoon. Good afternoon again. I didn't know we were full here. When I came in, there were not so many people, but now there are many. As you have heard, my name is Irene Wanyoike. And uh, I am able to remove one heart and wear another one. So I don't carry the many hearts, I just carry one. Today, I am a peace ambassador. A peace ambassador, Balozi wa Amani. That is my heart today. And uh, I come from the National Cohesion and Integration Commission in Kiswahili, Tume ya Uyano na Utangamano. And if you read the, um, what do we call them? The banner somewhere there, you can see our vision. And our vision is a peaceful, cohesive, united, and integrated Kenyan society. That is our vision at the Commission. And our mission is to facilitate the elimination of all forms of ethnic discrimination pro and proactively promote tolerance, understanding, acceptance of diversity, peaceful coexistence, and unity. Why? Because we are one people, one nation, one destiny. It does not matter where you come from. It does not matter your color. It does not matter your position in this society. We are one. We are one under God's divine. God has made us what we are. And I just want to pose a question. Did any of us make an application of where to be born? Did you make an application of where to be born? Did you choose where to be born? Did you choose your tribe? You found yourself there. And I want to tell you, we have no differences. If you take a Luo child and take that child to central province, as young as they were, you saw some of them, like the one who had was almost falling here. Take her where I come from. Bring her up among the children there. Take her to school there. I can tell you for sure, she will be a Kikuyu and nobody will ever know her tribe. Because the blood that runs through us, through our veins, is the same. And in God's eyes, we are the same. I have talked about our mission. It is a tall order at the commission. It is a tall order, our mandate. To tell Kenyans to live together peacefully, to love one another, to celebrate each other, it is a tall order. It is our mandate and it has to be done. But let me tell you Kenyans, we are all stakeholders in making this country peaceful. We are all stakeholders, each one of you, because we need peace in this country. We need peace now, during and after elections, and forever. Because without peace, we can do nothing. Without peace, we cannot assemble here where we are. Without peace, KICC would be a ghost building. So we need peace first and foremost because of our children. We need peace because of these little ones. And I see my beautiful girl there, Zawadi. Zawadi, how are you? She's a beautiful girl. And I want personally to make Kenyans, Kenya a safe place, a better place for Zawadi. I want to make Kenya a better place 
for the children who are here and for our children's children, for posterity, because this nation belongs to us. This nation is one. We do not have a spare country. We have only one. All we have. Do we have a spare one? There is a song that is doing the loud in the WhatsApp. I don't know whether you have heard about it. And I don't know whether it's being sung by Ugandans. I don't know whether it's being sung by Sudanese. I don't know who is singing it. And the song is saying that Kenya must be peaceful. Why must Kenya be peaceful? Because when we had trouble in Uganda, we ran to Kenya. When we had violence in Sudan, we ran to Kenya. When we had trouble in Rwanda, we ran to Kenya. When we had trouble in Burundi, we ran to Kenya. In DRC, we ran to Kenya. So we must make sure that this country is peaceful. All of us are stakeholders. And it doesn't matter the politics of today. Because brothers and sisters, young children, on the 8th of August, we will elect our leaders. And they will go to state house. They will go to their county governments and be governors. They will be members of parliament. They will be MCAs. But you and me, we will go home to the same, same place where we came from before we went to vote. And if there was no unga, you will not get unga on that day. You will not get food on your table because your favorite candidate has gone to the county government of Nairobi. You will be exactly where you are. If there was no school fees, you will not get school fees. So what we need in this country is leadership. It is leadership that comes from God. So that this country can be better, so that this country can grow, and we will have food on the table. We will have food on the table. We will have school fees. Our children will be in a better environment. They will go to school, they will enjoy school, they will sing the way they have been singing here. And they are singing here because there is peace. Call it negative peace. But that is why they are here. They can drive from where they come from to come and sing for us. The beautiful ladies and gentlemen from Uganda would not be here. They would not have closed our borders if there was no peace. So we need peace. We need each other. And be very careful when Jesus was in this world. I will quote a verse in the Bible. When Jesus was in this world, in Philippians 4, 7, it says this. Let me start with John 14. John 14, 27. It talks about peace. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives, do I give it to you. Let not your hearts be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. You know, fear is from the enemy. And you know what? The enemy is making sure that we are fearful. Fear is not from God. And so my brothers and my sisters... We must nurture the peace that we have currently. We must make sure that we vote on the 8th of August and go home and wait for results. And because we pray and we believe in a God who answers prayers, and Kenyans are praying, and women are praying, I know and I believe Despite all the circumstances, we will have peace. Who believes like me? There shall be, there shall be peace in this nation. Because we have prayed, and we are praying, and we will continue to pray 
that there shall be peace. And I'm a lawyer, and that's why I'm saying there shall be peace, as the song says. And I'm going to quote another scripture, because peace is from God. And this one says, that is uh, Philippians 4, 7. And the peace of God, which surpasses all human understanding, will you guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. And the peace of God will guard your hearts. Note that. It will guard your hearts. It will guard your mind. Why do we need that peace? Because there are so many things that are going on in this nation. There are wars and rumors of war. There are lies everywhere on WhatsApp groups, on the internet. You are being fed with lies. You are being fed with propaganda. And so my brothers, my sisters, my daughters, my sons, we need to guard our hearts and our minds. We need to guard our hearts and our minds so that all that is going on will not affect our minds and our hearts. And that is the peace of God the Most High. That is the peace of God the Most High that will guard our hearts and our minds in this very difficult moment in our life. And so finally, I want to tell you, I know we have political leanings. Let's not lie. We have political leanings. It is okay. It is democratic. It's okay. You can choose the leader that you want. But the leader that you choose, be very careful. Because for the next five years, nobody will give you space to complain because you chose that leader. So let us think, not with our stomachs, but with our minds. Let us make this country a better place. Let us nurture the peace that we have now. People are calling it negative peace. But let us nurture that peace so that we can have a peaceful country. And our Kenya, our beautiful land, will glow, will develop, and our children will enjoy, and they will go to school. We need each other. Let us celebrate each other. Let us celebrate the people from across the borders. Let us celebrate our tribes, because you didn't choose. And there is a reason why you are born in Kisi, why you are born in Ukabani. There is a reason why God put you there. And there is a lot that we can learn from each other. There is a lot that we can learn from each other. So let us celebrate each other. Let us celebrate diversity. Let us love our country. Let us love this country. Let us be patriotic Kenyans. And the God that we pray to, the God that love, who loves us, the God who brought us in this world, if we are faithful, he will hear our prayers. And I want to tell you, he has heard. He has heard. And he will continue to hear. And Kenya will be peaceful. Thank you very much, and may God bless you. Thank you.